Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to God of War 3 Remastered. We're still in the underworld trying to get out, but uh, we're being judged by three uh, big dudes and uh, one of them wants us to go through a portal before we head on, but I want to check out this golden statue. A magnificent statue of a young girl cast in bronze, so not gold, sorry about that. So I uh, just wanted to check that out because it's, uh, it's interesting. Because it's going to come back to us uh, a bit later on. But uh, enough spoiled. Let's open up a few chests. There we go. A bit of magic and a bit of blue orbs. So remember, we need uh, 4,000 to upgrade our blades. There we go. And let's head towards the through the portal. So that just gets us a bit higher up. So we're at the head level of these guys. Uh, we could smack this thing all day long, but this won't budge because we need, of course, something else to destroy that. I'm just going to check out the rest of this room. Because since the, the camera angle is fixed, they try to hide a lot that way, so you can't rotate the camera to check behind corners. The three judges, King Minos, Isaias, Iacus, and Radamamu, okay, thank you. I was reading that, but never mind. Only those found where they may pass into the paradise of Elysium. And that first thing was, of course, the three names of the judges, but we're not going to get that text again. So just uh, checking that out, we get the, the chain that we need to cross eventually. Okay, moving on. So, moving forward, we have two Minotaurs, and we can actually use the bow to uh, blow up some bombs. I don't think, yeah, I, felt I was able to hit that one, get out of the way. Boop! Shoulder charge. And then grab this guy. And just give him another, uh, well, I was going to say deep throat, but that's, that's, yeah, it's a bit aggressive, a bit more aggressive than that. And there we go. Headbutt him in. In, ex in exchange, and we can just block that all day. And there we go. Second one down as well. Let's just get that in there. There we go. There we go. Totally healed up, in case you weren't. So moving forward to where, where these uh, Minotaurs were. And we can also already see a few things that we might be able to unlock later on with different items. And we have another portal over there. And then the obvious red chest over there. So it's just all a bit, all a bit about exploring. So let's just cross this gap and open that up. Because uh, I think that might get us to... Ooh, we're six, six red orbs shy of uh, getting our first blades upgrade. So, nothing else. Let's go through this portal and we get to the other side of that gate. A note written by a, a young soul. The fires, the people screaming. I was so scared. Why didn't father protect us? The judges say I have to go now to Elysium and that it will be nice there. I miss my family. So this place is kind of judging, well, the few souls that actually make it to this area. And uh, to see if they get a chance to go to heaven or not. So there we go. Our second Minotaur horn. Let's open this up. And I think this actually works the same way as the, 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 the glyphs and the new God of War. So once you collect all of them, the, there are more chests than you need. And uh, the, the remaining ones just contain red orbs after that. So let's get back upstairs. Playing this actually made me realize how little I remember of the, the game mechanics in general and the, the map layout. Because I'm, I'm getting turned around a bit. But uh, there we go. Red orbs, you can use them to upgrade their weapons. And we're at 4,000 now. So let's do that first. So next upgrade, we get increased damage and we unlock Argo's Ram and the Cyclone of Chaos, which will be very handy in uh, crowd control. So we get our uh, Cyclone back. Hitting your stride, there we go. Silver trophy for upgrading our weapon and a new golden fleece counter. So parry and then square because we couldn't actually parry, uh, do anything back after Father? defending uh, attack Might there. Be. Oh. You are not my daughter. No, but I know who you are. You know of me? They said you would come. Land toys, Kratos. There Show we go. Hades, another one of your tricks. As usual, Spartan, you are gravely mistaken. Face me, coward! So eager, Kratos. Relax. Soon enough, we will have our time to play. 
So the camera work trying to confuse us and creators alike. And this little girl that just apparently is not our daughter. So creators thought for a second that it was Calliope, his own daughter. Uh, which would be a possibility since, of course, she could be contacted through the underworld. Uh, but we know from one of the PSP games that she actually got to Elysium. So uh, let's not dwindle on that too much longer for now. I love the way this game actually zooms in when you're on the chain to allow enemies to spawn in on the chains. Because uh, I'm not sure that that's going to happen right now, but let's just skip ahead. There we go, moving along, destroying more pots, because of course, God of War, if you've s seen my uh, my playthrough of the PS4, God of War, the new God of War, then you know I like destroying pots. A note scrawled by a tortured soul, he was my responsibility, it was my burden to raise him, teach him right from wrong. All who get too near him suffer or die, his wife, his child, his brother, and now me. I failed him as a mother, as a human being. His sins are mine to bear. Punish me for his shortcomings and grant my son redemption. So uh, I wonder who she was talking about. There we go. Squeezing ourselves through a little gap. It's actually really jarring to see the camera change so abruptly. Uh, since of course in God of War, uh, the new God of War, the, the camera stays behind you at all times and keeps following you without a single cut. Especially during that conversation with the, the little girl back there. It was really, really weird that the camera just abruptly went... Oh god! And there we go. We can actually... Get projectiles back into their faces as well. And there we go. A new type of enemies. But uh, very easily dealt with. There we go. I blocked the explosion because, of course, she, apparently she wasn't dead yet. Um, let me see. Aha, there we go. A chest just hidden around the corner, but because of the camera positioning, you would have easily missed that chest. But not we, not we, although I missed the collectible in the very first scene where we were in Gaia. Never mind, never mind. Goodbye. Ah, just... Throw this guy over here and just destroy him with the bow. Because I like the bow. The bow is a nice addition in God of War 3. Because it's a new weapon for uh, the God of War series. Oh, that looks horrifying. Because of course I don't. Re I remember the big set pieces. But those little scenes I really don't remember. So that seems to be something that lifts up. I don't have any magic of any kind. I mean, my bar is full so I don't need it. Another tortured soul. He could have saved me. He held my life in his hand and still he let go. I may have been just a mere boat captain, but he treated me as if I was nothing. He is to blame for my torment here. I hope he suffers in Hades as I have. Damn that ghost of Sparta. So that's a boat captain from the very first scene in the very first game that we just drop into the, the throat of the Hydra. Um... Just to get his key and then we just drop the boat captain down the down the chute the chute so uh he's just really mad uh and i think you see him at i think you see him at the at the end of the game as well the end of the first game you abuse his corpse again holding on to uh to him to get up top again but uh, yeah this seems to be going up there we go does that get us anywhere else? Because I know you, game. I know you. That might actually mean that that other uh, note was actually from Kratos' mother. Since, of course, his wife, his child died. And then, of course, his brother as well from the PSP games. No, you sh Oh, Oh, okay. Do need to be careful that those guys, those women, explode. So this is an elevator going down, probably. There we go. Got on the elevator right on time. And then this. Okay, let's pull this out. So there's a bomb here. And there we can use the cyclone immediately. 
Although they're really good at blocking that. Oh. Let's move away and block that. And just get the health because I really, really need it. Almost out there. So I'm guessing we need to put the bomb on the elevator. Which means I'm going to put this really, really close. Get on top of the elevator. And then pull this thing just a little bit closer. I'm wondering if I just need to put this bomb over here. There we go. Blew up the fire which allows us to go higher. Which doesn't even make much sense. But apparently that that's exactly what it does. Um, okay, that was interesting. That put us over here. But I do want to check out that upper area. Oh wait, that's the upper area we've been to. Obviously. Ooh, this is also something. I'm not sure whether I should now open up the door or not. I'm assuming this is not the critical part. But I'm definitely not remembering this. This is a lovely area though. And we got a hammer dude. And the pit of Tartarus. The scorched lands stretch out as far as the eye can see. So indeed, yeah, the pits of Tartarus. Oh god. Oh god. Big burly guys with hammers. Oh, there we go. Doing enough damage with the heavy strikes allows us to grab the hammer and smack this statue. I love how it just disintegrates in that different pieces. Yeah, and this one is down as well because I split the damage pretty nicely. One, two, and three. And now we get extra soldiers, which is fine by me. Because that allows us to uh, get a bit more stuff out of these guys. There we go. Let's punch these guys into oblivion. But of course you can get hit during grabs like that. And if we stay in their backs, I think they can't rotate that quickly. And there we go. Last one down. One. And two. And three. So yeah, the one thing I really like about the Golden God of Wars is the, the variety of uh, enemies. Because you get them in all shapes and sizes. So uh, yeah, there was a chest on the other side, but I died once during that fight. So I need to, to uh, reset and got that chest anyway. But I feel like this is somehow... Aha, okay. That's the arm room. Hmm. Is this the perfect place to do a, a big combo? Or no? Oh, holy crap. I just flew out of there. So not really a secret room. It's still a fun little easter egg with the, the hands room. And then we get our other upgrades. Another feather. So we're close to getting an upgrade there. And then more red orbs. So we need 7,000 for the next blaze upgrade. I think I'm going to focus on that first. There we go. Fly all the way up. And get back to where we were. And there we go. Down the rabbit hole. Almost quite literally. Not sure if there's anything over here. Nope, just death. Well, Curiosity sure killed Kratos there. There we go, going down again. Smashing a few pots, as is customary. And then we can drop down. Ooh, yeah, I do remember this. Because, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna let this play out. I don't think we can open this up yet, so let's just go and have a little chat with a very, very large man at the end of this room here. So hello, we're in the forge, and this is, if you know your Greek mythology a bit, this is the smithing god. I tell you, I have paid the price. Calm yourself, smith god. There we go. Ghost of Sparta. Hello, Hephaestus. Well, well, well. I thought Zeus would have killed you by now. 
I thought you would have escaped this cavern by now. <laughs> Zeus may have imprisoned me here, but you are the reason I live in torment. I did you no wrong, Hephaestus. I pursue only one Olympian. Well, as long as it's only one Olympian. <laughs> yeah, because Kratos says that, but we I already killed Poseidon. Olympus. Do you know of it? For what purpose, Spartan? For the purpose I have chosen. Now tell me, do you know of the flame? Yeah, because Kratos doesn't ask nicely. All true children of Olympus know of it. We've all come to respect its power. But don't be fooled by its enticing glow. Neither God nor man can touch its lethal flame. I only need to find it. <laughs> if you can find your way out of the underworld, I'm sure you can find your way to the flame of Olympus. <laughs> you have been truly helpful, Hephaestus. So the arrogance in Kratos' voice is, of course, gone in the newer, uh, the new God of War. Because, of course, it's a different, um, that was horrifying, a different voice actor. Because look at that, he just pulls out a blade to just sharpen a few things. Yeah. That's, that's not going to come in handy later on in any sort of capacity, that was it. Let's save. There we go, and there's this lovely lever to pull. Let's use that to open up the gate. Because it doesn't really look like Hephaestus even wants to leave this place. I'm actually not sure if Hephaestus tells the story of why he's here. Because the reason why he's here is because he was in love with Aphrodite, the goddess of love. And uh, yeah, Aphrodite was, well, married to Ares at the time. And Ares didn't like that. Hephaestus also fancied the woman of his life. So let's open that up. And we have our second Gorgonai means we are one away from pretty much everything. The locked door is emblazoned with the visage of Lord Hades. So, uh, which pretty basically means we need to just kill Hades if you want to ever get through that door. So, uh, uh. let's head out. Goodbye, Hephaestus. Have fun with whatever it is you're doing. And now we get back into... Uh, yeah, a very lovely room, because this doesn't look like we're going to get attacked anytime soon, now is it? Can I actually burn that over there? Ah, oh, no, I can't. So let's just rotate this around, because nothing suspicious is going to happen. This kind of looks like Doctor Who, with the Weeping Angels. But uh, yeah, it's just to keep you on edge a bit, because right now they're just not moving. You can actually position this the way you want to, so I think I'm going to go for the branches. No, 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 for the branches first. Should have should have not gone the long way if I wanted to do that, but I was not aware that this is uh, free-flowing. There we go, burn that up. And that opens up a path. Hmm. Interesting. There seems to be multiple parts. And just just puts us back. It seems like the, the normal part, because there's a chest here. So let's just go back and check out that other part really quickly. There we go, let's open this up. Oh, this looks... Oh, god. There we go. A bit of crowd control with all the dogs. And I think we can actually grab those, right? Ooh, yeah, we can. Let's just get a few more orbs out of these, right? And then this one. And we kicked another dog. And we kicked another dog. Yeah, I, I told you guys, this, this game is a lot more brutal than the God of War you've seen me do in my other series. The new one. I hate it. I hate, I hate the fact that that... God of War has, does not have a specifier. You know what? If I'm talking about God of War, just assume I'm talking about the new one. And if I say God of War 3, I'm talking about this one. Or the original trilogy or something like that. This is going to get old really quickly otherwise. Let's get back. And again, we can hear the singing. The dreadful singing in the background. Uh, for which we will get an explanation. Now we see these ominous holes in the, in the ground. That probably means we're going to get shut off from something. Kratos? And there we have the Blade of Olympus. How do you know of me? You are the ghost of Sparta. Everyone knows who you are. 
everyone is afraid of you. There are reasons for that. I'm not afraid of you. It Clearly is not. not afraid, child. Fear is a heavy burden. I'm not a child, Kratos. It does not matter what you are. My concerns lay elsewhere. Kratos, please. I need you to free me. The quest for freedom is also a heavy burden. I cannot help you. Look at how awesome that was. So we get the Blade of Olympus back because the blade just fell down Mount Olympus along with us and just ended up inside of that statue. So that means that our range meter in this game is actually just the Blade of Olympus that we can use for a short time. Oh, look at that, bloodthirsty all around, just whisping that thing around like it's a freaking lightsaber. And then grab this guy, just punch him a bit. Yeah, I do love the grab attacks in this game. Because you can grab all lower level enemies just immediately. And there we have, yeah, not one but two Cerberus, Cerberi, Cer Cerber, Cerberi, Cerberus, Cerberus, I don't know what the plural is of Cerberus. Please let me know in the comment section. While Rage of Sparta is on, you can deactivate it with the same button prompt. So yeah, that statue just got demolished by uh, the blade falling down. Just gonna grab a few more guys. And get a few more orbs out of these guys. Because uh, orbs are our lifeblood in this game. And the more the merrier. Even though we need to brutally murder these guys for it. Making our way through a few archers. And there we go. And Blamo, she's down for the count. And let's see what we can do with these two doggies now, can we? Let's just burn this place up. Because those dogs are not going to do anything, are they? Of course they are. Hello. Just going to use the bow as long as I can, because they're going to start throwing fireballs at my face. Just need to be careful with my dodges and blocks. And there we go. Can actually shoot the projectiles back again. And just use the magic attacks if they get too close. And that gets us two finishing moves, which is sad because I can only use one, of course. And there we go. One head. There we go. Now the correct one. There we go. They recover really quickly from getting their heads torn off. And there we go, second head. And then maybe magic attack. And let's take down one of them. Stabby, 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 and there we go. Oh, gold! Yeah, that was that was lame. He got me in the back there. Totally, because everything keeps moving while you're doing these attacks. You're not completely invulnerable when this happens. And there we go. Final bolt down with a nice stabby finishing move. Goodbye. Sweet dreams. Brutal kill. That's pretty much it. So yeah, Hades, thanks for the compliments, but let's open up this fancy door. Because uh, it actually depicts the boat uh, with, uh, what's his name? The, uh, yeah, the ferryman on the river sticks. Uh, Carol, Carol, Carol on his boat, which is actually a boss fight in one of the PSP games. Oh God. Um, Tornado time, kick the dog, or break the dog, it's all the same, break the dog, and then I just grab this guy, oh I just, I just kicked the dog, there we go, and then this guy, ooh I smacked him against the wall there, let's kick another dog, yeah just grab attacks are really fun, really, really, really fun, and then we can just grab another dog, kick him, grab another dog, I mean, you get the gist of it, right? There we go. Grabbed and killed all of them. 
And I still have plenty of health left. So let's just go with blue. Blue Dabadida. And open up this door. Because we're just getting deeper and deeper into Hades' territory. With more and more depictions of the man himself. Or the monster himself. Depending on your view on this. Look at that. That's just a lovely, lovely tree thing. The Palace of Hades. Welcome, Spartan. Come in. Make yourself at home. This time, you won't be leaving. Of course, hinting at the few times we've been here already over the course of two other games. But uh, with that done, we're going to take a little break inside the Palace of Hades. So when we get back, we're going to go for the big man himself. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh, thanks enormously for watching. So see you guys next time on God of War 3 Remastered. Goodbye.